about the events that happened in July 2005, when some other foreign nationals were killed. Could you tell us about that? <coughs> well, prior to that, immediately after this shooting was the time I started getting the difficulty with my peers in the team then, especially my immediate command. Then I started opening the gap that when I come to Combo, I will not go back. I will stay sometimes two months in Combo. The public reaction to my activity in reference to my job was not also helping me. You, can you explain that, please? Yeah, sometimes I will be provoked that, you know, this man is dismissed. He has lost his job. But at this time, you had a family member in the army, didn't you? In 2005, after the killing of Mr. Haidara, you started staying away from Kanilai, sometimes spending two months at a, row, at, a, in, in, at a go in your home village. This was 2005, because Mr. Haidara was killed on 16th December uh, 2005. 2004, rather. That was one day after your birthday, correct? Yeah. You celebrated your birthday today. The next day, you went and participated in the assassination. I never of celebrate Haider. my birthday. Well, okay. You lived through your birthday, and then the next day, you participated in taking the life of another person. Correct? Correct. And how about the trafficking in cannabis? It was going on. At what scale? The high scale. You had a free reign to go to Kazamas and bring weed into the country? Not me in passing. I mean the junglers, the patrol team. Well, I'm saying uh, not me in passing. I am saying it's the junglers, the patrol team. Yes, they would go and come. And bring weed? Yes. And traffic in cannabis? Not they themselves selling it, but they go and pick it for Pusamen. They had a free reign to travel the country unchecked. I even had once made a complaint to Tumbol that, you know, these people are in the habit of taking people on patrol and are going to load the vehicles, going on this peddling, <coughs> after which they would put everything in their pockets, giving people whatever they feel like. It has to stop. So um, in that house, you claim that you left and uh, where did you go to live? I went back home to Tujereng, my native home. Awol again? Yes, call it any, anyhow you, it can satisfy you, sir. So let's call it by what it is. It was Awol. Okay. Good. So on this occasion, on this, during this period, were you called upon about the Ndur Cham School? On the D-Day. On the D-Day, tell us about it. The day it was suspected that it was going to happen. I was called in the evening, and then I was not directly at home. I found my way home, and I gave a call to them, gave them a call to pick me, and they said I should make my way by myself. Proceed. I made my way by myself to State House. Upon arrival, I found men already paraded, men of the battalion of the State Guard. We are paraded, but I was appearing from their back, the, the rear of the parade. Not knowing that there was the former president standing in front of the parade because I was approaching from the back, but I could see him sprinkling water, which I suspect was this spirit water in our local language we call Naso. I was myself, I was touched with that water. And uh, was it sprinkled on everybody? Everybody who was on parade, this water was being sprinkled on them. And uh, he By was who? The former president. And call, he, he call his name? Yaya Jame. Okay. And did, was he saying anything <coughs> when he was doing that? He was making comments that, you know, you all know me. In the event, you have an idea about this coup plot, and you sit, sit sitting, sitting on the information, you will reveal by yourself, that means you will speak before morning. 
But in the event you have no idea about it, you'll be protected. Did he say what would make them to speak? That was by virtue of that water he was sprinkling. So by spraying, sprink, by sprinkling that water on people, they would start talking? He believed that was a spiritual thing. And, and you guys also believed him? Pardon? You guys also believed him? That was his way of life, and many Gambians believe in that. 